The largest flight sim convention, FS Expo, has officially kicked off at Houston, Texas, and the first day has already revealed so much of new, exciting, and revolutionary stuff coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator. In the midst of all the product announcements though, two brand new aircraft have also been announced, and on top of this, a revolutionary new ATC system, as well as a much requested feature update to popular tool Flight Control Replay, there's truly a lot to talk talk about in today's video. Do keep in mind though that this is only the tip of the iceberg. FS Expo continues throughout the weekend, so there's definitely going to be more content to come today as well as tomorrow from developers such as Fly by Wire who are currently developing the A380X project, as well as PMDG who of course are developing the 777 and Aerosoft who are developing the Airbus A330. So definitely do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're super close to 20,000 subscribers and would love to add a few more members to the Flyby Simulations community. So then, without further ado, let's get right into the video. What is going on guys, Varun from Flyby Simulations here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now finally, right before getting into the meat of things, a quick note from our sponsor for today's video. Now, long-term viewers of the channel might know that I'm not much of a bush pilot or GA aircraft flyer. I love flying large airliners, which usually involves long periods of time where I put the plane on cruise and just kind of sit there. So instead of rotting in front of my monitor for hours on end, I prefer to go out and do things, whether it may be a run, doing my laundry, enjoying a meal outside, but there's always that lingering feeling about how my flight is doing, whether it's all peaceful or if I'm in an uncontrolled nosedive about to kill all of my passengers. Well, with today's sponsor, Asun Remote, you don't have to worry anymore. Asun is a free-to-download application software from macOS, Windows, and Android that allows you to remotely control your PC using your phone. As can be seen here, I can monitor my flight, control the cameras, and even move things around as needed without having to be anywhere near my monitor. And this doesn't just work for games. As a content creator, I get great peace of mind when I can monitor the status of my video being rendered on my editing software and having the ability to upload videos to YouTube without physically being at my desk or computer is an absolute godsend. The app does allow keyboard customization as well as mouse support and can also support games up to 144 FPS. So log on to the link in the description section of the video to see all of their expanded payment plans, including a pluggable device that can wake up your PC remotely. Once again, that's awesome Remote, and you can find out more by clicking on the link in the description section of the video. Yo. Starting off then, Just Flight have dropped a 100 megaton surprise bomb on us, revealing the extensive work they've done on their brand new project, an Airbus A300B4 built from scratch for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The developer says that this aircraft pushes the bounds of what's possible within Microsoft Flight Simulator, and though many people make this claim, the rendering quality and modeling here definitely back up that claim, at least from a visual perspective. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about what you guys are seeing in the background right now. However, the visuals aren't the only thing this developer has promised. This quote-unquote next-generation airliner promises to include features such as complete system simulation, which yes, also includes circuit breakers and every knob, button, and switch, not only for the captain and first officer, but also on the entire flight engineer panel. On top of this, multiple instrument panel configurations, multiple engine variants, as well as a 3D WY sound set will also be included with the final package that Just Flight are planning to put out. Getting more specific about system simulation though, the team have confirmed support for VOR to VOR navigation, RNAV, as well as, for the first time ever, a receiver INS or Inertial Navigation System Unit. Now, we were hoping to get an INS system on the Concorde when it was first released last year, but the ability to see it represented accurately for the first time in Microsoft Flight Simulator will surely be very, very exciting. Now, some of you old timers might remember Just Flight's A300B4 for P3D back in the day, but the developer does assure us that this one is going to be a significant upgrade to the older version. Just look at the comparison shots in the background for yourself. 
I've got to say I really love more developers like this looking to provide ultra detailed system simulations like PMDG and Phoenix have done for so long, though I sincerely hope that the price of this particular aircraft stays close to the Phoenix side of things, but as long as they maintain the standards that they've been setting up to this point, I've got to say Just Flight slowly is becoming one of my favorite third party developers. Now the work on this project is still ongoing and though we don't have a release timeline just yet, we here at Flyby Simulations will be sure to keep you guys updated, so do make sure you're subscribed and have the bell notification turned on. Next up then, it might seem like a coincidence, but any builds have also revealed what their ultimate airliner experience was about after all. To not much surprise on our end, as we had rightly predicted in our previous video, any builds will also be releasing an A300 from Microsoft Flight Simulator. However, this one being the A300-600 and not the A300 before that Just Flight will be up to. Now, I know some of you guys might be disappointed that two large developers are both dedicating their resources towards similar or same aircraft, but I'm assuming neither of them had any idea the other was also working on the project. Besides, any build already has success with this aircraft back in X-Plane 11, so it just makes sense for them to port it over to Microsoft Flight Simulator as well. Regardless, however, this rendition of the aircraft also looks absolutely jaw-dropping, with 4K and 8K PBR texturing implemented throughout the exterior and interior of the plane. Everything from the cockpit textures to the exterior model and the cargo compartment of this freighter jet look absolutely stunning, even from up close. Speaking of cargo, the ultimate airliner experience phrase used to market this aircraft was alluding to the ability for us simmers to now transport custom any build cargo assets such as F1 cars, animals, precious cargo, and other packages, thus no longer restricting us to only do operations throughout the sky. It kind of gives us a bit of a purpose to take this bird out on a spin. This will be made possible with a new tool that is still in development, but something AnyBuilds will talk about in detail once they're ready to. Here is a current feature list we have for this aircraft so far, which includes an ultra-realistic flight model, custom WY sound set, ACARS and CPDLC simulation, SimBrief and Navigraph integration via their own EFB, and much, much more. Unfortunately, just like Just Flight's A300B4, we don't have a definitive release date for this aircraft just yet, but looking at the progress, I can predict it will come out sometime in 2023. That's what the AnyBuilds team also told us last year when they first revealed they're even working on an A300 project. So fingers crossed, hope this thing graces us around Christmas time. Next up then, let's shift our focus to a brand new, revolutionary ATC system from Microsoft Flight Simulator called Beyond ATC. Now, I personally highly urge everyone to go check out their official trailer. It is linked down below in the description section of the video. It's a brilliant piece of marketing. Trust me, I'm a marketing major. I know how this stuff works. You'll get a true idea of the capabilities of this product and the way it's been done is so, so well. So really would love to speak to the guy who actually took care of this. It's actually brilliant. If I'm attempting to provide a rough overview of the product though, Beyond ATC completely overhauls the default ATC present within Microsoft Flight Simulator, adding 100 AI-generated voices to help provide realistic FAA and ICAO phraseology to us simmers. The tool will be capable of both voice recognition from pilots as well as button responses if you do not wish to talk. Additionally, it will also incorporate full SimBrief integration to recognize your flight plan, have support for both I IFR and VFR flight, and will also have the ability to double down on individual aerodromes, understanding various gate assignments, standard operating procedures for each taxiway, runway selections, and more. And this will completely be based around the community, so the community can keep adding more things, kind of like GSX profiles for ground handling. You could do the same thing for this add-on, and then Beyond ATC will continue to get better over time. Currently, the developers have promised that it will also run seamlessly with AI traffic models from Just Flight's FS Traffic for PC and Xbox and FS LTL, the free AI traffic add-on for PC. Additionally, though the team is still looking for beta testers on their Discord servers, the product has been confirmed for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 as well, so great news on that front too. Do check out their Discord to enroll in their beta testing program today, and once again, the official trailer is linked down below. All of their important pertinent information is linked down below. Highly recommend you guys go to the Discord if you guys want to take a quick sneak peek as to what this product actually looks like. 
Finally then, let's talk about a massive update coming to Flight Control Replay, a fantastic replay tool that I personally use in all of my videos. For those that don't know, Flight Control Replay is a payware tool that allows you to record your flights and replay them in the sim, thereby allowing you to view your takeoffs and landings from different camera perspectives and angles. Now, courtesy of this fantastic summer update trailer by my colleague Aviation Lads on FS Elite's YouTube channel, this newest version of Flight Control Control Replay will include the ability to view a flyby camera. Now this was a much requested feature from the X-Plane and P3D simmers because this feature has existed in simulators from back in the day, but for some reason, Asobo and Microsoft never gave it to us in this simulator. But fear not, Flight Control Replay will bring this functionality to all of you, so long as you pay the price to actually purchase the add-on, of course. Now I'm personally pretty excited about this, as I have exclusively used this feature for my X-Plane cinematic content from back in the day, so seeing it come to Microsoft Flight Simulator truly does make me very happy, not only as a simmer, but more importantly as a content creator as well. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of today's video. That was me basically covering all of the major announcements made at FS Expo Day 1. Of course, there were other ones. Navigraph came and talked about their new charts functionality incorporating weather. There was Honeycomb Aeronautical, Thrustmaster talking about peripheral products. But if you guys want to truly see everything that's coming out and stay up to date, FS Elite actually has a live blog that keeps updating live, as the name suggests. So I'll leave that down in the description section as well if you guys want to stay up to date. Or of course, feel Feel free to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep bringing you guys recaps of every single day that FS Expo goes on. With that all said, thanks for watching, and thanks for flying by.